First guest was surely born to entertain the daughter of acting legend Sir John Mills. She became a star in her own right from the age of 13 thanks to fondly remembered movies like Pollyanna and The Parent Trap. A generation later, she can currently be seen helping to warm up our Sunday nights in ITV's Wild at Heart, starring opposite Amanda Holden as her feisty mother. You didn't take any tours to see the line, did you, Caroline? No, no, of course I didn't. I mean, even if I had, I don't see how I could be at fault for this. Caroline, the truth now. Did you or did you not take that journalist and her husband down to see the white lies? All right, yes, I did. But this isn't my fault. How could you be so irresponsible? You took a journalist to see the lion? You knew how vulnerable that animal was. You were in a position of trust. But on the side, no, I don't even want to look at you. Please welcome Hayley Mills. <laughs> to do that show looks amazing how, how, how long are you out on location for when you do that oh in Africa? months are you yes uh, last year four months wow. and uh, we're going to go back this year and uh, it could be four it could be six <laughs> I'll be in a straight jacket if it's <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever been into that sort of thing before? I mean, you were you a safari person, you know, with all the animals and everything? Or uh, not? Yes, I actually, I did go on safari with my mum and dad when I was about, uh, oh gosh, 20. But I did a, I did a series uh, 25 years ago uh, in Kenya called The Plane Trees of Thinker. So, oh, yeah. oh, and that yeah. all was shot out there. It's, it's a great advantage to be actually on the spot, mm -hmm. really hot and sweaty and really full of dust on the <laughs> contact lenses. Yeah, it gets very authentic. Yes. yes. Well, we saw that clip earlier on of uh, Great Expectations, oh, one, of, one of your dad's films. Yes. Um, were you allowed to watch all of his films? Were you, or was there sort of certain ones that you weren't? Or Yes, uh, yes we were, although I think, uh, and this is included in this wonderful yeah. box set mm -hmm. that comes out. Yeah, it's, um, it's amazing, the centenary collection. February, it's one of my favourite films, it's, it's a brilliant, brilliant movie. And I saw it when I was five at a Christmas party. My dad used to put up a big screen, you know, and get the projector out. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that scene stayed with me forever. I shrieked as a five-year-old <laughs> child, leapt onto the lap of, of our family doctor, who was very old-fashioned, who wore a uh, black waistcoat and pinstripe trousers and had a gold watch, and spent my, 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 the whole time <laughs> clutching him like that. And it, it did, you know, leave me with a terror of uh, graveyards for years. Yeah, it's amazing how it stays with yes. you. Let's take a look at your, at your father in action. Herbert. Yes, my dear Pip. As I've been brought up a blacksmith, I take it as a great kindness if you'd give me a hint when I go wrong in my manners. With pleasure, though. I should guess you'd need very few hints. <laughs> Thank you very much. Now, please tell me more of Miss Havisham. Ah, yes, Miss Havisham. But let me introduce the topic by pointing out that in London it's not the custom to put the knife in the mouth, <laughs> for fear of accidents. It's scarcely worth mentioning, only it's as well to do as other people do. <coughs> I must apologise. Thank you. Not Thank at you all, much. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad you showed that uh, that clip. It's, it's, it's a wonderful scene between him and, and uh, Alec Guinness. And that was Alec Guinness's first movie. Was it? Yes. Now, your first film was, were you 13 at the time? Uh, 12. You were 12. Yes. And you were actually sort of signed up by Walt Disney himself, weren't you, and sort of transported off to the West uh, Coast of America? Yes, I was, as a result of doing a little movie with my dad called Tiger Bay. Right. And that was that sort of, you know, set the ball rolling and then I went off and worked with Disney, yes. Did you win a, a sort of junior Oscar or something? Uh, yes, I did actually. Yeah. <laughs> mm. It was a little, it was a baby Oscar. How old were you then? Thirteen. Wow. So how did you survive that whole child star thing? Because, you know, you're, you're uh, because perfectly my, grounded, my aren't you? mum and dad were very good Unlike parents, her. very good parents, <laughs> and they sent me to boarding school. And when I finished my work, I went back to boarding school where I couldn't wash my hair except for once a week and 
And how did you feel about, did you like boarding school? Did you feel um, that you'd been sent away? I, I accepted it completely because that's what everyone did. Yes. All my friends went to boarding school. Because lots of people would say, we were talking about mothers earlier, you know, yeah. being a good mother and what it constitutes. And one of the things people always say is, oh, but how could you, and I, I did, you know, how could you send your children to boarding school? But actually, for some children, I think, they, especially a lot of boys, actually, they really benefit mm. um, they from great, that kind they of environment. They have a great time. Yeah. I think what's terribly, terribly important and boarding schools are much easier now because they have much more freedom than we did. We couldn't phone home, we didn't have cell phones, you couldn't leave the, the, the confines of the school. Um, it, it, it is that your, par that your parents are totally there for you. My parents were very, very loving and very, very, you know, they come to school dues and things like that. And I can't say I ever wanted to send my own children to boarding school, but my life was such that I did continue to work. Um, and you've said before that that's actually something that you, you perhaps regret a little bit. And we were talking about that always, that difficult combination of <clears throat> having a career and being a mum as well. Oh. Do you wish you'd, you'd sort of done more, more of the motherhood it is, and less of the it's career? It is very, or? very difficult. And when a, when a job comes along that mm. you need to do and want to do, you know, what do you do? Um, and whatever decision you make, you feel guilty. Yes, yeah. absolutely. You're, you're, mm. you're, you're doomed to be conflicted yeah. and, and torn apart. Uh, but one of the great things about, about actors, as you know, is that, is that it, it's not a nine to five. So yeah. you work like mad and then, and you miss things at school and you can't go to certain, you know, mm. when they're taken into the rugby mm. team or head of the swimming or whatever it is. But then you're months when you're not working yes. and mm. then you make up for it. And, and you know, you spend more time with them than, than a parent on, uh, in a nine to five situation. Way. They can't wait for you to get a job, really. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> well, look, thank you so much for joining us. This is out, isn't it? I think it's the 18th, so it's in a few days' time. This mm -hmm. is out at the end of this week. This yes. is your, your dad's film collection. And uh, Wild at Heart, every Sunday, ITV1 at 7.45. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Hayley Mills. Thank you. Thank you.